21st of last year, I became a single mom to my five-year-old son and two-year-old daughter. I am part of the 5% of women who have gotten divorced between the ages of 35 and 39 years old. We were married for eight years, and you could say we wrote a statistic from the seven-year age theory. My ex left while I had been unemployed for two years, acting as a stay-at-home mom. When he left, my initial thought was, oh crap, what am I going to do? And my current job was selling medical equipment to the aesthetic market. And it was a great position for me because at that time, I really had no concept of money and how much people made and everything. And it really put me in a great position because it was whenever the housing market was booming and um, there was a medical spot opening up on every corner. And so I was able to sell a lot. And we also launched an at-home acne device that um, really took off well. And so I was able to make an income that was really nice. When the economy went down, I was laid off after having my second child. And that was a very difficult time for us, of course. And there was, you know, there was a lot going on, of course, with you know, doing, um, making less money and whatnot. And at that time, my husband left, and I thought about going back into sales after that had happened, but I just had my second child, and I was used to a six-state territory, and I was like, well, I just can't do that, you know, with being a single mom, nor did I really want to because I hated all the windshield time. The divorce was final on February 1st, and although it's, not, it's been very, very scary not knowing what my future holds, I'm really determined to make it something great. And during the separation, my mom and I decided to start a seasonal kids consignment sale. And what it is, it's an event that is hosted um, every spring and every fall. And local families come in and um, drop off their things, priced and tagged and ready to go. And we provide the venue and the, um, and the marketing to get the shoppers in. And the event is held um, twice a year at the Parkville Athletic Complex. And we, um, at the, at it's two and a half days long, and at the end of the sale, we pay the consignor 70% of whatever their stuff sold for. And so this has been really great. Um, I obtained a marketing degree from Park University as an adult, and that has helped me both from a job aspect of things as well as owning my own business. And owning my own business has taught me so many different things. Even though it's you know a seasonal thing, it still takes you think about it all the time because it's your own business. And so it's terrifying to think that you're gonna fail or anything else, and so I constantly think about it and constantly work on it and whatnot, except for this week when I was preparing for my student, <laughs> which consumed me completely. Um, I'm also a part-time esthetician. Whenever I've been here, I work on Friday, Thursdays and Fridays, so you've seen me in my uniform. It's um, a medical spa in Leewood called Bear Aesthetics, and there I perform laser hair removal, microdermabrasion, chemical peels, and IPL. Um, and it's a great job for me. I used to be a, um, an esthetician prior to selling medical equipment, and so I was kind of out of the game for eight years. And so being back into it has been nice. It helps me make ends meet, and I get to see some of my old clients from eight years ago, actually, because it's in the same area. And whenever I talk about what I do, especially like in a social setting, it's kind of funny because when people know that you're in aesthetics, like, well, what about, what about, you know? And one of the things that is the most humorous is whenever people talk about Botox. And very few people really understand what Botox is, and a lot of times they'll say things like, well, I don't want my lips to be too big. And it's something that doesn't even go on your lips. <laughs> so I'm like, well, you don't have to worry about that. It doesn't go there. Um, or whenever you talk about chemical peels. You know, chemical peels range from something that you can just do at lunch and put on your makeup to very aggressive where you're going to have days that um, you're going to have lots of redness and swelling and whatnot. And people always think it's going to be all the redness and swelling. And they think of Samantha off of Sex in the City and they're like, oh, I don't want to have a pain to feel that. I'm just going to look crazy. That's not the case. So the unfortunate part is that neither the kid sale or uh, my sex position is really ever going to get me anywhere financially where I want to be. And so I have also searched out some business ventures on the internet. I, for the past three years, I've educated myself on internet marketing. It's a passion of mine. And I've met a lot of great people that do the same thing. And the reason being is because I believe they can get me where I want to be financially and it would give me the flexibility as a single mom to still um, do everything with my kids that I want to do. And 
So it's something that I really want to do. And um, what's kind of funny is that, you know, it took me, I did video marketing for a while and it took me 40 hours to create a three minute video. And it's kind of crazy, but I'm thinking, I hope this is all the way here, <laughs> but I don't know that it will be. <laughs> so that is where, um, that's where I'm going with things. And, um, you know, I'm really taking myself out of my comfort zone with between, you know, being laid off and just doing something completely different, becoming an entrepreneur. Being here for sure is completely out of my comfort zone. And I'm stretching myself. And I'm, I'm determined to make it something great. And I just really appreciate all of you being here today and listening to me and, uh, and making me be a better person.